Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> Welcome. <coughs> Hopefully, you got a sandwich and a bottle of water. If I come, I'm going to grab myself a bottle of water over here. My name is Frank Gove, and I about half of you in the room I know, about half of you I do not. Welcome. Great to see everybody. Uh, real quick, uh, for those of you that are just uh, learning about EXP, I hope today is a life-changing moment for you. And uh, I know for me, 22 months ago, I took a call from a friend of mine out of Dallas. And she's like, oh my gosh, Brent, have you heard of EXP? I'm like, nope. And she said, uh, they're going to change real estate as we know it in North America, which is a big statement. No one's ever called me and said that before. And I'm like, yeah, right, right. You know, I was at Keller Williams and uh, had a big team, 18 agents, 13 buyer's agents, or 12, and six listing specialists. Pretty good-sized team, right? And happy, don't rock the boat, you know, I can roll into office at 10, leave at 3, and take Fridays off to golf and not work on the weekends. Life is good. And she says, well, would you at least look at eXp and evaluate it and give me your opinion? And I made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sure, you want my opinion? She said, I heard you speak. I was very impressed with you. I pretty much would do anything for her at that moment, right? <laughs> and so, you're impressed with me? What do you want? You know, I never hear that. And so uh, I all I hear from a woman's mouth. Yeah, all, I hear, what I hear from my wife is, please take the trash out. Exactly. You know, get to the <laughs> so I sat down and watched this EXP thing with a terrible name. And it said, really, I, I hated the letter. Now I love those three letters. Mm -hmm. But, um, and she said, uh, you know, I, I took a look at it knowing that I would not be interested. But she was polite and professional. And some of you came here today because someone was polite and professional and asked you to take a look at EXP. And you came, and, and like me, you know, you're not going to be interested, but you heard there's a free food. <laughs> and, and, and your good friend asked you to at least look. And you have just made the biggest mistake of your life. Um, I say that kidding. But uh, well, uh, Jay Kinder, very successful real estate agent out of Texas, says once you see it, you can't unsee it. You're like, is this for real? Are they really doing what they're doing? And I'm telling you, 22 months later, this is for real. This is the real deal. And uh, when I got started with EXP, I think it was 22 months now. James, correct me, I've been saying 1,700 agents. It was actually 1,400 agents, right, James? Yeah. 1,400 agents. Last January, about 14 months later, it was 6,500 from 1,400 agents. Today, that was just last January. Today is August. We're um, coming up on, what, 15,000 agents. We've already doubled since January the size of our company. And uh, we'll end the year around 23,000, 24,000 agents. But if you follow that growth out, next year, no problem, over 50,000, year after that, over 100,000, we'll be the second largest real estate company in North America. But we shattered all records. We got there in half the time of Remax, half the time of Keller Williams. And really, Remax and Keller Williams have been two of the most uh, powerful real estate models to hit the market. Remax with their 100% program in the 70s, if you know the history of Remax. And Keller Williams with their capping model, where they say, like, look, we'll stop taking money from you as agents and brokers. And really, <coughs> Keller Williams came out in the 70s. Uh, I mean, Remax came out in the 70s. Keller Williams came out in the 80s. And there's been no innovation since. There's really been no powerful innovation since the 1980s, which, by the way, if you're doing your math, it's like 40 years ago. And so enter EXP, and you're going to see why this company is changing lives. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And it really starts with this right here, the, the agent-owned cloud brokerage. We own it together. My background, 22 years in real estate. My first 12 years was at Remax. My last eight years prior to EXP was at Keller Williams. I changed brokerages one time in two decades. Same mortgage uh, uh, per person for 12 years, escrow officer for 14, same wife for 27, okay? <laughs> I'm pretty stable, you know? I, anyways, so let's talk about why, what the big deal is. I never owned Remax. I never owned Keller Williams. You own your brokerage. And the funny thing is, is real estate agents are telling people, buy a home. Develop some what? Equity. Equity. Don't be left with nothing after renting for 20, 30 years. But as agents, what do we do? We rent. Well, it's confusing, it's hard to own a company, and blah, 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 blah. And those things are true, unless you're at EXP, so let's get into it. See if I can use the, the clicker right. This man is an absolute genius. I just got off the phone with Darren Jacklin from British Columbia, Canada, and we're literally, I'm walking in here, and he's telling me how absolutely brilliant uh, 
Glenn Sanford is. He's a Steve Jobs. He's a Jeffrey Bezos of Amazon. He is, he's one of these special, special people who is just gifted and absolutely brilliant. He is also the founder of eXp in 2009, in the middle of the market crash. He figured out what the problem is with real estate companies. And it's the problem with every business in America. It's called what? Overhead, right? Why, why did Amazon come out with books and put borders out of, out of business? And by the way, I don't know how Barnes & Noble is going to make it this year. They're most I have friends who work in there. They went from 40 employees at each Barnes & Noble to four. They can't get the books out of their showroom out into the bins. And of course, uh, Amazon's gone into every other thing besides books, right? Look at travel. We all went to travel to get our tickets to Hawaii or the Caribbean. How many travel agents are there? They're gone because we go online and use technology. How about a taxi cab driver? I mean, you can't impact, really, Uber, Lyft, anyone? I was in Napa this weekend. We took Uber to a big party and back. I mean, Yellow Cab just filed for bankruptcy. Technology's entering every aspect of American business. Doesn't matter what industry you're in, it impacts us. So let's talk. He wanted to be the Amazon of real estate, which, by the way, so the probably the best way to explain what EXP is is this analogy right there, the top one, Netflix and Blockbuster. Blockbuster had thousands of locations. They put Hollywood Video out of business. They were the second place competitor. And left Blockbuster as the standalone 800 pound gorilla in the marketplace. What happened? Within years, they were a six billion with a B company, no competitors. This would be like Coldwell Banker putting everybody out of business. And if you bought or sell a home, you did it through Coldwell Banker. Would that be pretty powerful? That's what Blockbuster did. Please raise your hand if you ever went to a Blockbuster and got a thing. Everybody in the whole room. I mean, when you start a business and everybody in the room has been to your business, you're, the, you're either Taro from a Coonies, right, or, or you're Blockbuster. You've done really well. So Netflix says, hey, you don't need thousands of those commercial locations and all the heat and cool and insured employees and inventory and just cash registers and computers and just all the telephone systems, all that overhead. Just point and click get your, your what you want online. Sound familiar? Blockbuster says no. Five years later, they bankrupt the $6 billion company. What you gotta understand is they didn't pick off Kodak or IBM or Pan Am. They didn't pick off a struggling company. They took down Google. They took down, you know, uh, Apple. I mean, they were absolutely at the zenith of their success and they didn't exist in five years. That's how quick this world's changing. And that's what's happened with eXp. Amazon's been doing it to everyone. Uh, I can tell you stories there, but eXp's doing the same thing. We're cloud-based, point and click. We're not buying houses, but because we're cloud-based and we don't have the overhead, we do things for agents and brokers that the big brokers just simply cannot do. Somebody asked me the other day, are you worried about Coldwell Banker or Remax or Keller Williams, the big three, Century 21, copying you? I go, they can't. Because they have big offices, we don't. We have no desk fees. You can work from anywhere. Uh, it cuts the overhead of brick and mortar, and we put. We don't have the big, expensive commercial leases, so we put our money into agent support and technology that gives you leads. Anybody, you can have a pretty office and no business, or you can go find an office. And we have probably 40 locations in Sacramento. There are offices everywhere. You're not working from your couch. Myth number one, you will not work from home. I'll explain that later, how we achieve that goal. But number two, what if we could give you 10, 15, 20 additional sales this year? Would anybody like that? You know, five, 10 more listings, five, 10 more buyers. And so we show you how we do that. The way we do it is through lead generation. I spent 12 years at Remax. They had a product called Main Street. I never got really any leads from that. I spent eight years at Keller Williams. They have a product called, what was their product called? Um, E-Edge. Thank you, E-Edge. And it doesn't kick out leads. <clears throat> EXP, our product's called KV Core and Commission Zinc, and specifically KV Core, they purchased a company called Conversion. What happens when you're highly successful? You get bought eventually, right? You ever heard that one? KV Core bought Conversion with a K, K-U, Conversion. Conversion, when you learn how to use it, will give you 20 to 40 leads a week, not a month, a week. You will sell more real estate. End of story. It's a whole other seminar to show you how that works. You can Google KV Core and go look at it today. Now, here's the deal. 
If you go to KV Core on your own, everybody, they're huge. There are Coldwell Banker agents that use KV Core now. Remax agents, Berkshire Hathaway, Intero, Keller Williams agents that use KV Core now. If you approach them, you call them later today, just call the company up. $1,000 to set you up, and you will sign a contract for $6,000 to use their platform this year to see if you like it. Well, Glenn Sanford went to KV Core and said, I want 14,000 platforms. And when you get 14,000 giant tables like this, when you buy onesie, you get the onesie price, right? But he said, I'll take 14,000 projectors, you get economies of scale. I don't know what KB Core charges EXP, but it's way less than 6,000 a year. Do you all agree? So instead of 600 a month, we have a tech fee through EXP. It's $50 a month. No startup fee. And you get the same thing that everybody else pays, $1,000 startup fee and 6,000 a year for 50 a month. You ever wonder how people say fi sell 50 homes a year, 100 homes a year, two, 300 homes a year? The elite teams, you ever wonder how they do it? They do it with bulldozer toys. <laughs> what do we do? Door knock. <laughs> do an open house. Do some flyers, you know? I, my dad, where's my dad? Raise your hand. There's my dad over there, everyone. When I was a kid in the 80s and 70s, we would lick envelopes and put stamps on them and mail two or 300 around the listing, right? I remember that. And then his account go, well, write off the kids as your employees, right? <laughs> Dad, my tongue's got gooey stuff. Just keep licking, kid. Anyways, abuse I suffered at their hands. And to go to my therapist. Now, just kidding. So we're going to help you do more business. Anybody like that idea? Number two, we're going to train you because we have four pillars. Number one is leads. Number two is training. Number three, we're going to make you an owner through stock awards. And number four, we're going to share the revenue because you're an owner. So that's an overview of what I'm about to go through. So the second thing is training. We offer five to ten classes every single day. They're not recordings. They're live. You can raise your hand, stop the instructor if they call on you. They may say, I'll take questions after class. And, uh, but five to ten a day. Last, last week, there were 13 in one day. Thirteen. Can someone please raise your hand if you know a brokerage here in Sacramento that does five to ten live classes every? See, we have a seat open up over there. We have five to ten uh, classes every day in Sacramento. <laughs> Which brokerage it is that's doing five to ten, sometimes thirteen classes a day? Now, some of you are going, "Well, my gosh, how am I going to sell real estate if I'm going to all these classes?" Some of you will go to one class a month because you you know what you're doing, right? Some of you like, well, I'm brand new. You should go to one a day, maybe two a day, right? You can invert that learning curve. So whatever you need, if you need business planning, we have it. If you need luxury marketing, we have it. If you need a listing presentation class, like how do I, what do I do when I go to a listing? We have it. If you need a buyer contract class, we have that. Goal setting, sales, how to build a team, we have it. Every week in the cloud. It's really cool. So we arm you with leads. We train you at the highest possible level, and it's really up to you. If you don't attend the classes, you're going to get zero training, right? My daughter went to her first day at school today at William Jessup, and she got accepted last week, and yes, I cried on the phone when the administrator called me. I'm a big blubbering fool. I literally like, you know, it's like, it's pretty cool. Because I applied to go to college and was turned down again and again and again because I went to a very highly, a very like a private Bible college up north, Chico State. Anybody heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We have standards here, and you don't even qualify for this beer drinking crazy place. It was my third time I got in, and I said, no, I will succeed. Two years later, I dropped out, but I got in. And I got in. <laughs> Chalk went up for me. So my daughter's like, yes, there's hope for the Go family. She said, well, today's her first day at school. But if she doesn't go to school, William Jessup isn't going to help her. Do we all agree? You, you're going to grow as much as you want to grow, or you can not grow and fail. It's up to you. So leads, training. Next, uh, this is the club. That's an actual picture of it. This made me want to quit EXP the second I saw it, personally. <laughs> I was not attracted to that. I'm not a video gamer. This is an avatar world. Here's Rick Gonzalez from NWFL, Northwest Florida. Here's Mary from Oregon, and this is somebody, staff. This is actually an EXP employee. These are other EXP employees. You can walk up to them, talk to them, they'll talk right back to you. They're cartoons. I get it, it's weird. We have 250 full-time employees in the cloud. Accounting, 
technology, agent services, the transaction team, brokerage operations, wherever you want to go, they're there and they'll, they'll wait on you hand and foot. This is the cloud, okay? This is how we can do what we can do. Now, here's how we make you an owner. Did anybody ever go to Alliance lately and go, let us show you how we can make you an owner? Anybody hear that one? Go to Intero. Now, you can buy an Intero franchise and be an owner of that particular franchise, but you don't own Intero. Gino, uh, Blafari, I can never say his last name, he, he owned Intero. He sold it to the guy, Warren Buffett. Anybody heard of him? And he made millions because Gino was the owner of Intero. People owned little bitty franchises, right? A friend of mine bought the Roseville franchise in 2010 and closed it in 2012. He was an owner of an Intero, but it didn't work out for him. It opened and closed. This happens, okay? The Keller Williams on Howe Avenue opened and closed. The Keller Williams at Auburn opened and closed. Sometimes things don't work out for people. So here we're going to make you an owner, not of a little itty bitty franchise that may or may not make it, but of the actual company itself. How many of you like to be, have, uh, be an owner of Coldwell Banker, <coughs> owner of Keller Williams, the actual Keller Williams International? Now, you know who owns Keller Williams International? How many Keller Williams agents? None. Gary Keller owns the entire company. He bought out Dave Williams in the 80s. <coughs> he is a billionaire. How about Remax? Who owns Remax? Nobody. Well, actually, he put it out on the open market. You can actually buy stock in the company now. But Dave Lineker, the founder of Remax, owns it outright. And now he's, you can buy, purchase some stock from him. But he's a billionaire. The agents themselves, there's no stock awards. There's no way to become a shareholder. So let me show us how we achieve powerful agent ownership. By the way, that's our stock <laughs> over the last five years. As, what is the trend anybody see there? Pretty cool. And if you pull up Rilogy, pull it up. They own uh, Cobalt Banker, per, uh, Prudential, I think went out of business. Uh, Century 21, uh, they own some of the older brands. The Rilogy, it's, cool. it's a billionaire hedge, hedge fund. Here's what their stock looks like for a year, like that. I mean, it's just plummeted all year. The brand is old and tired. Pull up Remax. Here's what Remax looks like. Pull it up today yourself for one, over the past year. Here's Remax. Like that. It's a complete rainbow. If you pull up Redfin, tech company, cloud-based Redfin. Here's their, they make uh, agents employees. We'll pay you 60000 a year. You're going to work 40 to 60 hours a week, and you have to respond so quick. And most Redfin employees I've met, they're very stressed out after a couple of years and go, it's not worth the money. But their stock went all year it spiked it, it went boom in the last uh, month it's just completely skyrocketed you pull exp stock over last year it just goes like this because we are excited about our company when i was at remax it was cool that remax was growing but i didn't really care i just wanted to sell 40 homes a year and then 60 homes a year and 100 homes a year it's great when i was at Keller williams it's cool that Keller williams is growing but what it mean to me if a bunch of people got in in florida and killed it nothing i meant nothing to me how about you at our company, as our company flourishes, that means somebody to every something huge to every person at this table because we own stock in our company. As the company flourishes, we flourish. Ask anybody who owns Apple stock that works at Apple. Ask anybody who owns Intel stock that works at Intel or Google or Facebook. They're excited about their company. That does not happen in the real estate world except for here. So how do you acquire stock? Well, we have equity awards. When you close your first transaction, does anybody ever do that every year? 35 shares of stock. It's currently trading at 15 to 16 bucks a share. It's like five, six hundred dollars worth of stock. You know, it's, well, that's not very much. Well, what do you get at your company? Let's see, zero or five to six hundred. Now, when you cap, we have a cap at EXP at 16,000 a year, which most companies don't have a cap. Keller Williams has a cap, averages 27,000. So when you pay in that much, they stop taking money, they move you to 100% split. Our split at EXP is an 80 20 split. Well, I have a 90-10. I met a couple of banker agents in Davis who had a 90-10. I get the franchise. What about that 6% fee? They go, oh, yeah. So really you have an 84-16. You all get that? Mm -hmm. I go, there's no cap. Is there nope, no cap. I go, if you have a 90-10, you sell a lot. you got to be tough. They go, we're the number one agents. How much did you pay Cobo Banker last year? They go, we knew you'd ask that $45,000. Okay. Our cap's 80-20. It's not as good as your cap, but we stopped taking money at 16000 and move you to 100%. So 45,000 or 16. I'd rather have an 80-20 paying 16 than your 90-10 plus a 6% franchise fee and paying 45. Is everyone with me? Yeah. And so that's how a cap works. Well, when you cap an EXP, you get 75 shares of our EXPI stock, which at current uh, 
price we're trading at today is what is it fifteen something? Anybody know? Fifteen eighty four. What? Fifteen eighty four. Fifteen eighty four. She looked. You looked today. Okay. So if you multiply that times seventy five, it's around twelve hundred dollars worth of stock. Mm -hmm. Now, if you subtract that from the sixteen thousand dollar cap, what's it really cost you to be DXP? Fourteen eight plus the five hundred dollars here for closing your first deal. Uh, fourteen three. You could do the basic math. Fourteen three. Okay, so the cap is very competitive. The split is solid, 80-20. Around here, our average sales price is what? 350, 375, four? Yeah, 350. 350? So it's gonna take you eight to 10 sales to cap. So if you do eight to 10 sales in the next six months, the next six months you're at 100% instead of that 80-20. It's very inspiring to go knock out your eight to 10. Try to do it quicker every year. Five months, four months, three months. How'd you like to do it in three months? I cap in about 30 days every year. So I have a big team and it's just 30 days. So the next 11 months, I'm at 100%. It's pretty cool. People love capping no matter what. Now when you sponsor someone, you share EXP. Does that work when people really talk to people? Look around the room, right? When you share EXP with someone and they join, you become their sponsor and you're awarded 75 shares. Again, it's about $1,200 worth of stock currently. And if you tell 10 people, then you get 10 times 75 shares, which is 750 shares, obviously, or about $12,000 worth of stock. What if I told 20 people about it? Then you get $24,000 worth of stock. I did this uh, 22 months ago when the stock was at 370 a share. And then I acquired a lot of stock. In the last year and a half, I've been selling homes, I've been capping, and I've been telling people what a great company this is. And we have about 35,000 shares, something like that today. If you multiply that times 1584, mm -hmm. it comes up to about $600,000 worth of stock. Is that pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not that much. Okay, no. let's compare it. 20 years at zero. You with me? 22 months, 600,000. Is that helping? Here's what people don't understand about EXP. This is about a retirement, a retirement program. If you could put your phone in your pocket, it's buzzing on the table. But um. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I believe you, I believe you. It's probably my phone. That's a funny thing. <laughs> so here's the deal. This is a retirement program. When I want to retire, fine, but how would you like to not have to work so hard? You ever run out of escrows? Isn't that the greatest feeling in the world? <laughs> I got nothing in escrow. It takes you two, three weeks to get something in escrow, and dear God, please close in 30 days or less, and you're going without money till October. Are you guys with me? How would you like to have some cash flow there? So the next part's about that. By the way, you can actually qualify to get your cap <coughs> back. If you sell 28 to 30 homes a year or more, they actually return your cap to you in the form of stock. I sell 60 homes a year. Last year, I got that award, 16,000. <coughs> the stock quadrupled. It's now worth about 67, 68,000 dollars. Pretty cool. It's a three-year vesting. All these awards, you cannot cash them for three years. Not 30 years. Not 10 years, three years, 36 months. A lot of companies have 10 year vesting, we have three year vesting. If you stick around with DXP for three years, you can cash them. So some guy says, well that's a gimmick, I want a check for 16. Well, really, does your broker return the money you paid them with the check every year? This, that program doesn't exist. We don't give you a check, but we give you the stock. And um, I probably would have bought a hot spring spa if I would have got that check, right? <laughs> An extra check, something really intelligent. We all know this uh, appreciate value, right? Hot spring spas? <laughs> or my daughter's been bugging me to buy her Jeep. The one I got all emotional about is at William Jessup at her first class today. I probably would have bought her a used Jeep, a little, Ooh, look at my cute Jeep, I'm 18 years old. I probably would have done that. But because of this dumb three-year vesting, it's this gimmick thing on our NASDAQ traded stock, New York Stock Exchange, um, I couldn't, because I have to wait three years. Well, the stock quadrupled. Thank heavens I couldn't buy the spa or the Jeep. Do we all agree? <laughs> now let's say, but it's not gonna do that every year. Sure, let's just say it just doubles. Anybody good with math? What's 67 times two? <laughs> See, 134,000, did I get it right? What, what if it just doubles one more year? By the time I cash it, it could, it could be, who knows, a quarter of a million dollars. What did you pay your broker three years ago? Are you about to cash it like a CD and get a quarter of a million dollars? I mean, it's just insane. It's, a, it's the dumbest thing in the world, but it's actually happening to me and many others. Marguerite, are you there? Yeah, there you are. Yep. Did you get that award? I did. And are you excited about it? I'm excited. And Absolutely. You know, I, was at I am a broker, so I was at 100%. Some people say, why would you give up 100% to go to 80-20? Well, 
the stock alone has been worth it, not including what you're going to talk about next. Yes, and the best part is next. Thank you. By the way, the last part, here's the main way everybody gets awards. Right here. If you're not doing the agent equity program, you should. It's optional. You don't have to do it. You ever hear David Ramsey speak or Susie Orman? They go, you need to save 10% of every check. You need to pay yourself first. You all know that? Yeah, you guys all know. And then everyone says, well, I'm, I'm, I don't make enough money. How can I save 10? I need more money. And then they come back and say, look, if you're broken 100% and struggling, you might as well be broken 90% and struggling, right? That's what they come back and say. So we have a program where you can take 5% of your commission and purchase EXPI stock at a 20% discount. I'm like, well, it's half of what everybody should be saving, 5%. $10,000 commission, it's $500 worth of stock. So we call set it and forget it. I did that when I started. My first year, I took 5% of my commissions and purchased $46,000 worth of EXPI stock. But I made 20% on it the day I bought it. So I didn't pay an average of $370 a share. I paid about $290 a share. And it's trading at fifteen eighty four a share. Fifteen ninety four now. Fifteen ninety four. One up ten cents. Why? I just made ten five thousand bucks while I was standing here. This is good. Now, yes. I was going to say that just this morning I was um, talking with one of my team members, and we went in and looked at her stock, and she um, started paying in April of last year, and for half of her transactions she was doing that, and she had bought about five thousand dollars worth of stock, and then she kind of like panicked and felt like she shouldn't do it, so she had them cancel it for um, eight months. To stop she, doing it, so right. she quit participating, she but still, she still had the stock. She still had the original stock, but she didn't continue to buy the 5% on like her next seven or eight deals, and she's so upset with herself right now because the stock that she bought in the first few months, she paid about $5,000 for it, and the average price was like $5 a share. Wow. So she had tripled her money on the original stock she bought, and look how much she missed out on, on the next few deals. Absolutely. So it's the best thing ever. Absolutely. So uh, I can't tell you how I have 18 agents. All my agents have, they all bought three, four, five, eight, ten thousand dollars worth of stock, some 15, and now they're all holding anywhere from 20 to 70 thousand dollars in our stock. And I'm sure as our company goes from where we are to 24,000 to 50,000 to 100, I'm sure the stock will not appreciate. <laughs> right? I mean, I'm sure it is. It's not going to happen, right? We have no overhead. We're highly profitable. The stock's not going to go. What happens to highly profitable companies like Google and Apple and Intel and Microsoft? The stock goes down. Through the right. It, it tends to go north. So we're not supposed to say whether the stock's going to go up or down. You make up your own decision. I know this. I have 35,000 shares approximately. James, how many shares have we sold of our stock there? Zero. 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 I could sell, well, there's three of us, and you can't sell any. The stock you buy here, you could sell tomorrow. There's no vesting. You bought it. The awards, they're a gift, three of vesting. The stock you buy, you could sell tomorrow. I could, I could make a call and sell today a quarter of a million dollars, maybe $300,000 worth of stock today, and just put it in my account, like everyone else at all your other companies, right? I'm not making that call. I believe in this company. I'm holding on to the stock. We are very excited about where that's headed. But here's the best part. Forget everything I just, in fact, we'll back up. Forget everything I've told you. Forget the leads. Forget the training. Forget the stock awards. Because I watch the leads. I'm like already selling 200 homes a year with my team. I understand lead gen. Training, totally into it. We do it all the time. Uh, stock, not my thing. I'm a real estate family, come from real estate. Wasn't even interested in what I just talked about. All that big story, wasn't even interested. I'm totally interested now. But, um, you know, back then I'm like, eh, stock. This, what I'm about to show you, rocked my world. This is why everyone in this room should become a part of EXP. So here we go. It's called revenue sharing. Because you're an owner, you're going to share in the revenue for the first time in your life. How many Lions agents share... I'm not picking on lines, but it's just a great example. There's like 1,400 of them, right? The company's been around for 50 years, right? How many of them share the revenue of Lions Corporation owned by the Lions family? Anybody sharing the revenue there, the, the actual agents? None. How about Cobalt Banker? How about Remax? Cobalt Banker actually just came up with a, like a 1-1-2. One, one, you get 1% 1 of the people you tell for two years and then nothing forever. <laughs> Anyways. Um, but they're, they're actually trying to come up with stuff. Gary Keller came out with the Keller Cloud for Keller Williams, but their cloud has no stock and no revenue share. He thinks we're all excited about EXP because of the cloud. It's actually in spite of the cloud. We're excited about EXP because of the stock and the revenue share. As business people, we want to be profitable. So this 
rocked my world. So here's how it works. We have a seven generation system right here, completely copied unashamedly from Keller Williams. We're a company that was kind of grown out of ex Keller Williams superstars. Our founder, Glenn Sanford, was in charge of technology with a small group of five people for Keller Williams Worldwide International. He liked the seven generation system. Keller Williams has been sharing profits. They call it a profit sharing system with their agents for 25 years. Did it work? They have 180,000 agents. They set all records and no one's ever done what Keller Williams has done. It worked really well. But if you ask the agents, so how's the profit sharing going, <laughs> right? I've been there eight years, for, uh, enrolled 55 people for Keller Williams and my check, my profit sharing check last month was $146. And here's why. If there's no profit, there's nothing to Share. If there's a little bit of profit, there's a little bit to share. And we're going into a crowning market. You're going to watch profits evaporate. And EXP is about to explode. So we copy their system, but we share the revenue. Now, the revenue is a fixed number. I can tell you mathematically to the penny what you're going to earn. If you came up to me when I used to run Keller Williams Roseville with my 450 agents, go, if I refer you know, Bob here to Seattle, Keller Williams, or to Roseville, the office you run, how much will I earn? I don't know. Depends upon if he makes sales, and in the month he makes sales, if the office is profitable that particular month, and if the office isn't profitable, even though he sold seven homes that month, you get nothing, okay? Does that make sense? It's ingenious. If there's a profit, we'll share some. If not, you get nothing. That's how it works. They can't tell you what it is. I can tell you to the penny with revenue share what it will be because we don't have the overhead. We don't need to pay uh, these $50,000 commercial leases that these big companies have. So if you personally sponsor one person and they cap, they cap, capping agent, you get $2,800. So it means you have to tell somebody who sells at least 8 to 10 homes a year. Well, we know agents in Sacramento who sell 4 or 5 homes a year, right? That would be half a cap. It takes 8 to 10 to cap, right, in Sacramento? The cap is 16, so if they only sell four or five, they're not going to cap. So it says up to, you would get 1400 Half a cap, half the reward. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. What if someone only sells one or two homes, like a quarter cap? Then you get a quarter of the 2800 You get how much? Uh, $700. So if there's a closing, the next month on the 22nd, you get revenue share. I just got paid about a week ago. I'll tell you what that was like 22 months later. But every the 22nd of the month will be your favorite month. And so, favorite day, favorite day, favorite day, favorite day. Awesome. Favorite day. Now, so what happens if you told 10 people about EXP and they capped, you would get 10 times 2,800 is $28,000 for your retirement. Open a savings account, put EXP revenue share savings. Any first share, 28,000, is that a little or a lot? And over a period of five to 10 years, is that gonna add up? You mean, I, what about next year? If these agents are still at EXP next year, you get it again. How about the third and fourth and fifth and eighth and eighteenth year? It's residual nature. As long as they stay with the EXP, you get paid. If they leave, there's no they're not creating revenue, so there's no revenue to share from that agent. Does that make sense? Now, well, what if they leave? Well, that, that's a possibility, but we're growing like crazy because we're the ones treating the agents right. Now, watch this. So if I tell ten people I get twenty eight thousand, yep. What if I told twenty people this year? Then you get fifty six thousand, you double that, right? What if I tell 40, because I actually told 40 in eight months. Well, then you get 50, so you get $112,000 your first year in revenue share. Is that a little or a lot? $112,000? I referred 40 people in eight months. That's what I did. I did it Friday afternoons. I simply called agents between two and five Friday afternoons, because I used to go golfing, go into the office, kick the tires, drink a cup of coffee, do whatever for those hours. And guess what? I said, okay, now I'm not going to talk to buyers and sellers. It, how about this? If I give everyone a homework assignment, go list 40 homes in the next eight months. What's, what are tough to find and cost a lot of marketing dollars to get? Listings, right? So listings are scarce. What are plentiful? What do you find all over Sacramento and California? <laughs> real estate. Agents. If you had to list 40 agents or, or go get 40 listings, I bet you you and I could go find 40 agents a lot easier than we could 40 listings. Do we all agree? Yeah. The sad part is the 40 listings, if you got them, you get paid, you're done forever. It's like pulling your finger out of a, a glass of water. I mean, hope you get some referrals, right? But if you don't work in the next 12 months, what do you get paid? So, watch this. Every agent they tell, you get 3,200. So if you tell an agent, then they go tell 10 this next year, and they cap, you get 10 times 3,200, that's 32,000. Now, just to show you how this works, 
I told 25 agents in my first three and a half months because I was excited, right? People respond to enthusiasm. And in eight months, I'd refer 40. Now, they started telling people who told people, how many people, James, do we have on our level two, generation two right now? Yeah, 285. Okay, so let's say 100 cap, right? I get 3,200 times 100. How much is that? Anybody go with that? $320,000 a year just from my level two. But those people told some people, those 200, how many? 285. I didn't even know they were 285. Cool. Um, they told people, how many on my level, how many on our level three? 460. 460. So I get, let's say 200 of them cap of the 460. That'd be 200 times $2,000. How much is that? 400,000 here. How many on our level four, generation four? 620. Does he sound like he knows the numbers? I have no idea to tell you the truth. Um, okay, level five? 650. Level six? 666. And level seven, my favorite level. 475. So let's say just 100 cap of those 475 on level seven, I get 400,000 a year just from this level. You mean you make millions of dollars a year? Yeah, and I've been here for 22 months. Oh, I don't know if that could happen to you. It may not happen to you. I don't know. Um, but could you go tell five or ten people, then they start telling some people? I thought, here's what I thought. You want to know what I thought 22 months ago? I'm going to try. This is my profound aha. Brent Gove is going to try. Here's what I thought. If it doesn't work after six months, I'm going back to Keller Williams. I put my hat in my hand, say, you're right, EXP didn't work, laugh away, and I go back. Except they give me a free office for a year and 100% split. Because I could talk to Remax. Remax wants me. Oh, no, no, no. Free office, 100% split for a year, come back to Keller. You don't think that would happen? I promise you it would happen. You're going to make money at EXP whether you make money at EXP or not. Now, if you understand what I just said. So, here's a real small example. So, I know some of you are like, what did he even just say? Hundreds of people? I mean, that, that couldn't happen to me. If you would have told me, like, last month, as my 22nd month, my revenue share check was $187,000. Not for the year, but for the month. Is that pretty good, outside yeah. of sales? If you had told me 22 months ago, 22 months from now, you're going to stand in front of a group and say, my revenue share check was $187,000 last month on the 22nd. And the month before, it was like 160, and the month before, 140. And uh, March, it was 118,000. Poor Brent was on a budget. And then last <laughs> December, it was 55,000, right? 55,000. How many love just 55,000 a month, right? I would have just said, that's, that's crazy talk. It's crazy. I get it. So let's go, let's really dial it back. You ready? Could you tell five people this year with my help, and the person who brought you here's help. Like, well, I don't know if I can wear a peach shirt and, and, you know, and, and I have a body like his. But, um, you, know, you know, people are attracted to these things. He's got magnetism. But, uh, I understand that. You guys aren't gifted with my, my body and my looks. I get that. I feel sorry for you, but it is what it is, you know. If you're beautiful, just own it. Now, so, but I will help you. The person who's watching, they're just watching with you. Could you... Do you have an hour? Could you have lunch on Thursdays once a week? We do the Snell Grove on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to start doing it in Fairfield Vacaville. I have two guests here from Fairfield Vacaville. We're going to start in Fairfield. I'm very excited about it. And I actually have a listing for you, Evie. They want you to list their home tomorrow. So uh, anyways, but here's the deal. We are growing. We're in Burlingame. We're in Daly City. We're in uh, uh, Petaluma. I was in Petaluma Tuesday. Santa Rosa kicks off in two weeks, the grand opening of EXP Santa Rosa. I mean, we're in 42 states now, not EXP, me, 200 major markets. It's just like, are you kidding? I just told a few people here in Sacramento and it went nuts. You know how many agents there are in North America? Two million. You know how many EXP? 14,000. We're about 5% built out. We actually just finally got to the credibility stage. Our stock was a penny stock. When I started we, 22 months ago, right, James? An OTC stock. That's your stockbroker, over the counter. Why is it a big deal that we're on the NASDAQ? You ready? How many tech companies are there in India, the Philippines, the US, Canada, Japan, China? There are hundreds of thousands. There are actually millions of tech companies in the world. Do you know how many are traded on the NASDAQ? I mean, you should just, oh, yes, we want to. You know trading? 103. Do you know who the 103rd tech company is to get uploaded to the NASDAQ and trade? There are more companies on the NASDAQ, but 103 tech companies? EXP. Of millions, there's only 103. We're the 103rd. This is a big deal. Our company is now valued at almost a billion dollars we started nine years ago, not 30 years ago. We broke, we shattered the Remax and Keller Williams records. It took them 20 years to where we've gotten in nine. Why? 
Remax and Keller didn't make their agents owners. We do. Remax and Keller don't share the revenue with their agents. We do. Remax and Keller cannot copy the model because they have bricks and mortar and overhead. Travel agents couldn't be Travelocity. Borders Books couldn't be Amazon. And you, I love Borders Books, but they're gone. My favorite thing to do if you're depressed is go see a travel agent. You get, like, there's a whole wall of Tahiti, Hawaii, right? I mean, has anybody ever gone to a travel agent left depressed? You leave with the armful of brochures. You're like, I got to go to Cancun. Look at the white beach and the turquoise water and the thefts. Anybody with me? I mean, there's certain places that make you happy. But the travel agents are gone. Things are changing. with you. Like, at the turn of the century, there were 700,000 horse and buggy drivers. And when Henry Ward came out with this backfiring thing he called a car, they, they, they wanted to make him outlaw. This is crazy. We need to get back to basics, horse and buggy. Who's glad that we didn't stay with that? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to all those people? They were integrated into building cars and other, other things that that created. Could you tell five this year? If they cap, you get $2,800 a person, which is $14,000. If one of them tells one person and one of them tells two this year, they're on your tier two, you get 3,200 an agent. Remember tier two? 3,200. And so you get 9,600 here plus your 14,000 here. That's $23,600 outside of stock awards and other things. Your first year. Could you do that? Again, I'm like, well, I'll try it. I don't know if it'll work. I'm going to try it. It's working for everybody. James and I did a golf trip last week in Las Vegas. Raise your hand if you were there. Handful of people. We said, hey, fly out if you want, come check out. We're expecting 120 people to fly in <laughs> from all over the country. At our cocktail reception, we had 177. The next day, from 3 to 6, we had 243. This, the third day, we had over 300 show up to our golf trip. We literally went golfing, swam, spa, hung out. People flew from all over. And we just, we, there was no invitation, there was no Facebook, there was no promoting, it was all word of mouth. 300 people flew in from all over the country. It is absolutely exploding. Uh, this is called a relationship collateral c capital. You have it nationwide. What do you mean? Do you have a friend in another state or city, a relative that does real estate? Uh, my whole world was Roseville. Where are you from? Fairfield, Vacaville? That was your world. What's happening in San Diego real estate? What's that matter? You're not San Diego. What's happening in Miami or Canada with Canadian real estate? Where does it matter? You're not in Canada. None of us cared. I care now. I'm in every province of Canada that we're in. We're in three. I actually want to get it right. British Columbia, um, Alberta, and I think it was Ontario. Right. There are other provinces, but those three provinces are the highly uh, um, density, population density, and almost all the agents are in those three provinces. We're in those three provinces. Vancouver is a part of British Columbia, I believe. I'm learning my Canadian geography. Why do I care about Canadian geography now? Because I have agents up there and I get revenue share. It's really cool. And, and um, we're booming. I mean, th this thing is huge. Your whole world is about to change. North America is going to become your real estate footprint. North America. No way. Just check it out. Skeptical, great. I was skeptical after I saw this. And they said, if you're crazy, get on your plane and fly to San Antonio because we're doing our annual convention next week. Friday night, I bought three round trip tickets, one for James, one for Barry and myself. Spent 2100 bucks, and we went there to interrogate people for three days. We came back and moved, our, moved my business from Keller Williams to EXP. Well, we'll end with this. Um, we manage everything through a back office dashboard called EXP Enterprise. Skyslope is how we manage all the transactions. It's used by Coldwell Banker, Remax, Keller, and Taro. Everybody's using Skyslope. CRM lead generation, branding, marketing, workplace by Facebook. That's how we do a lot of this stuff. His goal was to be the Amazon real estate and real estate trends. Uh, called him the Amazon real estate. Glassdoor, which is a huge deal. If you know anything about Glassdoor on the internet, best place to work, 2018 Employees Choice Award. Market Watch, I mean, join the company everybody's talking about. There are the details from analyticals. We finally got here. 80-20 split, $16,000 cap, then you go to a 100% split. Uh, Marguerite, you get there real quick every year, right? Yeah, and I just wanted to throw in one thing too about um, the revenue share is that last week when I landed in Vegas, uh, the first email I got was regarding two transactions, 40,000 in commissions that were falling out. Rough day, right? <laughs> like we've all been there. It's super stressful to have that happen. 
the next email that came in was my revenue share for the month, <laughs> which was $10,200. So the fact that I had $10,000 coming in made that $40,000 loss not hurt as bad. Not hurt as bad because I knew I could at least pay my mortgage, pay my car payments, put food on the table, do what I needed to do to take care of my bills. And that, for me, after 24 years in this industry, has made this the best decision I've ever made because it creates, it smooths things out a little bit for you. So it's not so stressful and that you have that commission It's totally fine. It happens to all of us. So, um, thank, so thank you. you. Great point. Great point, Marguerite. Alan's in the back there. Alan, you had uh, um, an independent franchise uh, or independent company. You had three offices in the Sierra Foothills. Four total. And it was, your company was called? Sierra Heritage Realty. And now it's Sierra Heritage Realty uh, brokered by EXP. It's actually just EXP. Oh, really? Okay, all right. So you gave up the liability right. and increased your opportunity. Absolutely. How do you like it? You had how many agents at your company? 20-something? 20 27. And, and you brought everyone over to EXP? All but four. Okay. Yeah, all and four. why did you come to EXP? As a guy who had your own independent thing going, you're rocking it, you personally sell 60 to 80 deals a year, maybe? Yeah, close to <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> what, 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 what did you see in this model, Alan? You, you have, you've been around the block. Well, two things. Training for my agents was unbelievable. I couldn't compete. I just hired a full-time trainer. I was contemplating hiring another to, to come in and help me train my, get my agents trained and really give them a better opportunity. And I looked at EXP World and the training that they offer on a daily basis. That blew my mind. That was really impressive. Andy, my sponsor, uh, you know, came in and, and sat down with me and actually went through that with him. I really appreciate that. Andy. Thank you. That's Andy over there. But the main reason for me was revenue share because I looked at the permanency of the, the income stream coming in. I'm looking at five years out before I semi retire because we never retire completely. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I looked at. I said, gosh, I can replace the, the override income that I'm making off of agents within a year just recruiting 25 people. Yep. and helping those people get five people. That's really my goal. Turn that 25. I'll give you an example. I talked to a father-son team in Shreveport, Louisiana yesterday. I said, I go, Hustings going great. And they watch the XP thing. They're excited. They want to do XP. I go, how many agents do you have now? They go, 145 agents. And I go, how many agents do you have two years ago? They go, 125 agents. I go, congratulations. You've netted 28, 20 agents in a two-year period. They've averaged 10 agent net. I go, two years ago, I had 18 agents. Today, I have 3,100. And I wasn't doing it. He's excited. I would have never said that if he wasn't excited. But he goes, yeah, man, we totally, that's why we're doing this. We're bringing our agents to EXP so they can thrive. Um, the startup fee is $149. It's something everyone can afford. The overhead, our tech fee is 50 a month. You get your website, lead generation for 50 a month. The EXP monthly university fee is 35. I do want to say this, I always forget. You get the website, you do have to market the website. I give you a classic car and put it in your garage with the tarp over it, but if you don't take it out and drive it, it's useless. We're going to give you a website, you do have to advertise it. It's $5 a day, $25 a week, $100 a month. To get the 20 to 40 leads a week, you need to spend $100 a month advertising that website. There, I said it. I would, my daughter always says, you forget to tell them, because yeah. they think they get the website, and then they just get the leads. You have to market the website. It costs 100 a month to get it done. Um, broker review is 25 per sale. e and is 40 per sale. Capped at 500 a year. That's all you pay. pay. I just met a gentleman. He, they charge him 150 per sale, and he does 25 sales. Anybody good with the math on that? It's $4,000 a year or whatever. Now he pays 500. Uh, we're on the home stretch. There's our growth. And... We actually are up around here now at 15,000. We're going to end the year. I guess there's no laser on this thing, but up at the ceiling at 23,000. If you look at that, that's a company that's growing, and that's what you're getting your stock in. We're on the home stretch, two minutes. Core values, we have them in bucket loads. Um, my favorite's fun. That's why we're doing. We have another big event in January in Scottsdale. Come out and go golfing us. Once a year, we go golfing in Scottsdale. It's our annual golf trip. Come out. There'll be four or 500 people out there collaborating, swimming in the pool, golfing, hitting the spa. You don't have to be a golfer to come. Uh, I think we had 40 or 50 golfers of our 300. Um, what? what? It had seven personals. Oh, you do have to um, enroll seven people for EXP to come. Uh, otherwise, we'd have like 1,500 people show up. We're just not set up for that. Do you have to do any deals? 
transactions? Nope, you don't have to do any deals whatsoever. If you look at the owner of Remax, Mike Mobley, none of you know him, he doesn't do any deals. James O'Brien's president of the company, doesn't do any deals. Uh, Gary Keller doesn't do any deals. Dave Linger, owner of Remax, doesn't do any deals. Wayne Hall, owner of Kellogg's. The worst thing you can do is sell real estate. And I'm not saying not to sell real estate, <laughs> but you don't have to. Here's the deal. Sell real estate because you need it, but build a company. Once you build a company, you don't need the money from sales. How have you just been busting your tail uh, doing sales? Chris Okamura quit his job as the manager for Intero, and his income went gone because he's no longer the manager. He had to do an open house every day for 30 days last December. 30 open houses and 30 see his income up to replace. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you didn't ha need the money, why would you? You do not have to do sales. You could simply share XP. He was like, well, if everybody, listen to me. Here's what people say. Well, if everybody d just recruits, who's going to sell the real estate? Fair question. Is that fair? Yeah. Yes. The problem is most people just sell real estate. It's the opposite. Even though you hear me talk like this, 80% of them sell like crazy because they need the money. They have mortgages. That is not the problem. The problem is inspiring them to tell people <laughs> is the problem. Now, uh, join.exprealty.com is where you apply. This will not move to the EXP, but it starts the ball rolling. We get a 45-page independent contractor's agreement that show you the stock awards, the commission splits, the caps, the international growth opportunities, the little fees, the $25 broker review fee, nominal fee, the 40 for Eno captive. All the details you get, we do not contact your broker. This is done by you later today or tonight or this weekend. Join.hprealty.com. You're simply applying, and you can, you can just go with the yellow uh, highlighter and really look at that 40. This is how you do You want to do due diligence? Get this. We do not contact your broker. It's private between you and HP. Have a great day, everyone. I'll be back next Thursday right here. We made it. 1.30 on the bar.